about six years ago, we started honoring Autism Awareness Week, and then three years ago, we started trying to make it a little larger and starting to do special things each day for those students. And so I called a friend of mine who works for Puppy University, Jennifer Clark, and she in turn gave me Carol's number. We ended up talking, and she was telling me about Raja and Pisa and how great it would be to have us interacting, and it would be wonderful on their end as well as our end because they were training um, Raja to work with a special needs student that was going to be going to another state. And one of the really difficult things with training service dogs for children is getting the dogs in the environments that they need to be exposed to, like schools and in cafeterias and you know around a lot of other children. Um, anytime you get dogs and children together, it can be an overwhelming situation. The very first day out, we were able to see um, great things come of it. We always want our students to have opportunities to be around things that are not just socially acceptable, but gives them a connection into uh, relating to their typical peers. Some of you may or may not know, but a lot of our students don't get some exposure that the general population of students do. And so we are trying to find ways that um, outside people can come in to enhance social skills and just really give our students in these classrooms every opportunity to grow. We knew that uh, the students with autism would be greatly uh, served by the therapy dogs coming in. And we also knew that the dogs would benefit from being um, exposed to an environment full of sights, sounds, and smells that uh, were relative to children with autism spectrum disorders. Some students were overly excited and, and uh, zealously going after the dogs as soon as they walked in the door and others fled. And so we knew, uh, looking at all the behavioral sides of um, helping our students, we had things to do. Uh, we had to start thinking of creative ways how that students who were afraid would become comfortable and students who were excited could even refrain and stand off. And so um, working together, uh, thinking through things, talking and communicating. Um, we were able to see some of the kids who maybe don't want to exercise and move around a whole lot um, get up on their own and want to walk and move because they were walking and working with the dog. We're also getting to learn about what our dogs need to know as we're going through the training process. It's been very interesting to come into the classroom and see the dogs working with these students. Um, you automatically see the students light up because, and even for the general population, when they see the students coming down the hallway, and who doesn't love a gorgeous puppy? You know, it puts a smile on everybody's face. Our students in general are very open, very like good with the kids, and so I think the dogs have been helping. Yeah, the dogs always going to be there for them, and it gives them more independence. They're not relying on other yeah. people because they have a dog. With them. It's been great for Raja to be here at the school to work with a lot of the same type things she's going to see once she gets home with Landon. So far, a couple of the students who have been severely scared of the dogs are really coming a long way in um, now being able to touch the animal. And um, it's really, it's been a lot of fun to see the kids grow and the puppies grow as well. When we go to the gym, and some of our students are walking the dogs. It makes the environment naturally pleasing, but it also makes our kids approachable, which sometimes individuals with disabilities don't have that approachability, whether it's based on their behaviors or even at times their appearance. And that's really because people just don't understand. And uh, for us, the dogs were the bridge to connect those relationships. It opened the door for our students uh, to engage into the world of the high school and to be um, connected into um, making relationships better. We bring together Puppy University and Project Reach to come together to form the Pawtism Project. You know, and with that, there's no end in sight, and we just hope to keep growing with um, the needs of our children and the needs of the dogs.